welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. As the title of this video shows, I am going to Trader Joe's and testing out a week or so longer, probably a little longer, of all Trader Joe's beauty. If you're like me, you buy your groceries sometimes at Trader Joe's, and if you guys don't know what Trader Joe's is, it's this um, kind of like a grocery store, but it's very, it's healthier, it's a healthier grocery store that isn't quite as like Whole Foods-esque. Love Trader Joe's, and we buy a lot of our produce and a lot of our frozen foods and things like that from Trader Joe's. I recently was down their beauty aisle, like, literally yesterday, grocery shopping, and was like, they have a lot of new stuff. I wanna check this stuff out. You know what? I wanna film a video where I haul all of the Trader Joe's, be Trader Joe's <laughs> beauty and test it out for an entire week and let you guys know what's a good find and what's not because everything at Trader Joe's is relatively reasonably priced for the quality. I'm at Trader Joe's parking lot with Chris because I just made him drive me out here and we're gonna go shop. Maybe we'll see my friend Royce. We have a friend at Trader Joe's. <laughs> home and I'm gonna share with you everything that I bought to test out for the upcoming week and how much everything cost. My entire total including tax was $103.93 which is not bad considering I got shampoo, conditioner, face wash, moisturizers, two different kinds, serums, two different kinds, a toner, body lotion, body oil, some different makeup wipes, I got a hair mask, I got a lot of stuff. I would say I am more than good in terms of overall skin and body care. I know when I go to Sephora or Ulta, depending Depending on what brands I'm shopping, that may be one product, if not maybe two or three products. I have an entire Trader Joe's bag here. Oh, got a shampoo and conditioner. They had a couple different options. Their spa moisturizing set, but I don't really need moisture right now. I have oily skin in the summertime. I got the Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. It's invigorated with peppermint tea tree and eucalyptus botanicals. It's 16 fluid ounces each. This is quite a lot of product. This was $3.99 for the conditioner and $3.99 for the shampoo. Pretty reasonably priced. Everything is certified organic and cruelty free. All the like main ingredients are organic. Next up, I got a body lotion. Trader Joe's when I first moved to LA was probably the first place I was buying like organic body lotions or more natural. They have these amazing coconut body butter and then there's a pumpkin coconut body butter. I wanted to try something different and this is the Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. You're getting 12 ounces. It's called Trader Joe's Spa. It comes in a pump, which is awesome. I like that more than the body butter tubs. I don't know how much this is. $4.99 for 12 ounces. Let's smell this. Smells good, smells like lavender, it's like good lavender too. This is totally new to me. I've never seen this at the store until recently and this is the facial cleansing oil with argan and coconut oil. So pretty, it comes in a pump. This is going to cost $5.99. Trader Joe's had two facial moisturizers. One is this one, the oil-free antioxidant facial moisturizer and then there's a daytime one that has SPF 15. I decided to pick this one so I could use day and night because my bill is getting a little expensive plus I have a ton of SPF at home that I wear on my face and Trader Joe's does have an SPF 30 that's a sheer one I didn't buy SPF because Chris was like you have enough SPF I'm sure if you just test out all this stuff you can get the SPF later and this was $5.99 I'm really excited about this this is a relatively new product I think because I just recently started seeing it at Trader Joe's this is the rose water facial toner hydrate and refresh $3.99 that's a great great price point for rose water this is four fluid ounces and the ingredients is rose flower water flower oil witch hazel also got this for the body this is the lemongrass coconut body oil with almond and jojoba oil 399 and the first ingredient is virgin coconut oil olive fruit oil and then uh, sweet almond oil and then jojoba seed oil and the lemongrass is the last one. I got a couple facial serums. I basically bought one of each because I was really interested in these. They're incredibly affordable for a facial serum and I wanted to see how they performed. Rose facial oil. It looks like the first ingredient is going to be sunflower seed oil, then fractionated coconut oil, uh, safflower seed oil, then rose hip fruit oil, uh, vitamin E, fragrances, and then um, 
soybean oil, macadamia oil. This isn't technically a rose facial oil. It's a rose hip seed oil mixed with other oils. I think just saying rose facial oil is a little misleading. One fluid ounce, $5.99. Next two serums I have is the antioxidant facial serum for all skin types, $9.99. One of the more expensive products. Still really affordable for a serum. You can see the encapsulated beads right there and the packaging is pretty good. And the final serum or facial treatment oil slash serum I have is the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. It's $8.99. Pretty reasonable. One of the more expensive items but very affordable if it helps boost my moisture for one fluid ounce. I got a body wash. This is the Refresh Citrus Body Wash with Vitamin C. This was $2.99. That's incredibly affordable. 16 fluid ounces. Oh, it smells good too. It smells like grapefruit, which I love. I did get an all-in-one facial cleanser. This is supposed to cleanse, exfoliate. It's cheerless and it's antioxidant rich. It comes in a pump. Thank you for all the pumps. This is $5.99. You get 8.45 fluid ounces. I also got one of these newer products that I hadn't seen before. This is the Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Mask. Moisturizes and revitalizes dry damaged hair. Deep conditioning for soft and silky hair with vitamin E infusion with 5.1 fluid ounces. $3.99. This I've actually purchased before and I remember enjoying it, but I haven't used it in probably a few years. This is the Moisturizing Cream Shea for men and women. This is honey mango with aloe vera and vitamin E. It's 100% vegetarian, paraben free with eight fluid ounces. $3.99. I got a couple makeup wipe options because I do take yoga and I take hot yoga. So I have to remove all of my makeup so that I don't feel like the makeup seeping into my open pores. This is the Micellar Cleansing and makeup remover. This is 20 towelettes, $3.99. I feel like it's like, it's reasonable. See how it works though. That's the important thing because I'll pay for more if it works well. This is their natural facial cleansing pad with 50 pads, $3.99. Blueberry and acai facial scrub. This is also newer. I feel like this has two ounces is $5.99. Packaging is quite impressive in a glass frosted glass container. It smells really good. I can smell it. Oh my gosh. It smells like blueberries. So good. The final product is an oldie but a goodie. This was probably one of the first products I used to buy. I used to get this in Trader Joe's when I lived in New York. Lavender salt scrub. Only got this oily emollient texture and I used to love this stuff but we'll see if I still love it after you know obviously trying a lot of other more expensive things uh, through the years. This was $5.99. I remember when this was really expensive in my mind. $5.99 for this much product. This is 20 ounces of a salt scrub with lavender oil. I think it's really fair. That is everything I purchased from Trader Joe's beauty section. There are definitely some things I still want to try out. I have a lot of stuff, but I thought I'd start here. This gives me a good head to toe. I will be right back for you, looking in with how all these products work after testing out for an entire week. So this is my first shower after yoga using all Trader Joe's products. Um, my skin does feel a little bit dry and red. Uh, the all-in-one cleanser is definitely a little bit more stripping than I'm used to. The shampoo and conditioner so far, so good. I like it. Got that like tea tree minty. So it was really nice for summer, especially when it was really, really hot. The shaving cream is freaking phenomenal though. Lovely, creamy, <laughs> lotion-y, hydrating texture. Citrus body wash. Love the way this smells. It's very light. It foams up really nicely. My... Rose Water Facial Toner, quite enjoyed that. Nourish Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. It just felt like any other hyaluronic booster, but my skin does feel slightly dehydrated. A couple pumps of the Rose Facial Oil. I feel dry at first, but then I did, so I went in with the Nourish Oil Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. When I touch my skin, it doesn't feel dry, but I feel like it's dry underneath all the product, and it's a little red. For yoga, I used the Micellar Cleansing and Makeup Remover Wipes, which so far, so good. I love this lavender hand and body lotion. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Okay, it's day two, I'm on my phone. I would have to say the skincare is wreaking havoc on my skin. I'm breaking out right here, right here. The texture of my skin is really messed up. I actually think I'm allergic to probably the cleanser or the moisturizer or both. Just used the facial cleansing oil to remove my makeup today and it didn't remove my eye makeup at all. My skin just feels really dry and 
like bumpy might stop using the cleanser just to see if that's what's causing it try the moisturizer still or I might give my skin a little bit of a break my skin's not looking good or happy it's only literally been two nighttime washes and one morning wash that's not good on the plus side I love the body wash and I love the body moisturizer and I love the shampoo and conditioner but skincare, I gotta figure out what is throwing my skin off. It could be this rose face oil, or it could also be the hyaluronic. I'm gonna eliminate things to try and figure out what it is. This is like not good. My skin has not looked this bad in a while. Like really bumpy. And I haven't had a breakout on my nose in a really long time. It's been a little over a week now where I've been testing out all of the Trader Joe's beauty products I purchased and I'm going to go through everything. There are some real gems, especially for the price point, and then there are some kind of duds. The first thing that was an amazing product and I definitely recommend if you do have a Trader Joe's to pick up is their Shave Moisturizing Cream Shave and this is Honey Mango with Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. It's very similar to the EOS shaving creams where it's more of a lotion. It's very, very thick, but I was able to get a really nice clean shave without nicking myself and I didn't have any razor bumps or any redness or any irritation from shaving. Now I do recommend switching up your razor pretty frequently especially if you use disposable ones because having a weak blade will contribute to that and for the summertime this is great because it's affordable. I go through quite a bit and it's paraben free, 100% vegetarian and it is also cruelty free. It smells really lovely but not irritating whatsoever. I just love the texture of it. It was very hydrating, very nourishing, and also protected my skin. I also have the Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner and Shampoo. At first, I absolutely loved the shampoo and conditioner combination. You get a ton of product, really affordable once again. It also smells really lovely, and it's actually cooling for the summertime. I do take a heated yoga class. Coming home and washing my hair with this was really refreshing and really lovely. I felt like it really cleaned my hair and my scalp, but I did also notice after using it for about a week, I do wash my hair every other day, it started to get a little dry and a little brittle. This is not something I'd recommend if you wash your hair pretty frequently like I do. Sometimes I even wash my hair every day because I just sweat a lot and I feel gross. Um, I do try to do a co-wash in between, but if you're using this every other day even, it is quite drying and if you have color treated hair or drier hair in general, even though I have an oily scalp, my hair can get kind of dry at the ends. So this is not something I would recommend for that, but if you're incredibly oily, maybe you want to check this out, or if you only wash your hair maybe twice a week, these are great products for deep shampooing. I wish the conditioner was a little bit more hydrating, especially considering how um, stripping the shampoo can be. Overall, it's not a bad product, and most people don't wash their hair as frequently as I do, so if that's the case, then you'll be fine. The Trader Joe's Refresh Citrus Body Wash with Vitamin C. Now, I don't know if the Vitamin C has any beneficial facts to it because Vitamin C is pretty unstable, especially when it's in a packaging like this, but I really, really enjoyed this body wash. I use it with my natural sponge. It lathers up really beautifully. I'm able to get a nice clean. I feel clean. I feel refreshed. It doesn't seem to strip my skin because I don't feel super dry after using this either. And it just smells really lovely. It's a lot of product for the price point. And it, the bottle's really easy to use. Great body wash. Affordable. Definitely recommend this as a Trader Joe's beauty buy. A product I definitely don't recommend, especially if you have sensitive skin, drier skin, or just temperamental skin is the all-in-one facial cleanser. I have a feeling this is what caused the redness on my face. It was just too stripping. After I used it, I immediately felt like my skin felt tight and dry. I haven't felt that way in a very long time because I have gotten really good at picking my cleansers. Fortunately, while this is affordable, I don't think it's the best product for those of us who have drier skin, more mature skin, or sensitive skin. If you're super, super oily, I don't even know that I would recommend this because you don't want to strip your skin even if you are oily oil production can be made worse if your skin feels like it's dehydrated. It's unfortunate because I love that it comes in a pump. I love the price point and it seemed like a great gentle cleanser. The hair mask that I tried out 
was quite enjoyable, especially if you do have oilier hair like I do. This is the Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Mask. It's supposed to moisturize and revitalize dry damaged hair with a deep conditioning for soft and silky hair with vitamin E infusion. My first thing is I absolutely love the packaging. It comes in a squeezy tube, which makes it so much easier than those open top jars in the shower. I just think those get so gross. This keeps everything a little bit more water free and it's easier to disturb distribute I don't have to stick my hand in a jar so I absolutely love the packaging price points really good it is very nourishing my recommendation for this is to put it into your hair and go do a workout or go about your day and then rinse it off afterwards it is going to take a little bit more time than your more expensive deep conditioners or even if you use coconut oil it does just take a little bit more time for it to be effective other thing about this is if you want something that's super super moisturizing this isn't going to be the product for you but I actually Actually like that because my hair can be flat real fast and this doesn't flatten out my hair but it does give that extra little moisture I need it to I also found that this was very lovely to go along with the shampoo I had from Trader Joe's as well next up I have the spa hand and body lotion lavender scented I really enjoy this and I'm going to continue to use this for some time 12 ounces you get a pump with it it smells lovely it smells like a spa lavender nothing too offensive nothing too too strong very very pleasant very lightweight and moisturizing at the same time I find I like using this during the day before I put on my clothes because I don't feel sticky and it still hydrates my skin if you want something a little thicker I recommend their body butter I had two different kinds of cleansing wipes and the reason for that is if I have makeup on I do remove it with a cleansing wipe before going to work out it's just a little bit better especially since I sweat so much in those classes so the one I prefer for my dry combination skin, I still have oily skin, but I do have dryness around here, is the Trader Joe's Micellar Cleansing and Makeup Removing Towelettes. This is a little bit more gentle. It's not as stripping. I didn't feel the tightness right away on my skin after using this. So this is quite a great find at Trader Joe's. Now, the other one is the Natural Spa Facial Cleansing Pads with Tea Tree Oil. Obviously, Tea Tree Oil is going to be a little more antibacterial, a little more geared towards acneic prone skin or oily skin types. What I like about this one is maybe after the gym using this, because this way it immediately gets rid of any of that bacteria. I know when I'm sweating a lot, I'm wiping my towel, the towel sits on the floor or on my yoga mat, which is also dirty, hands are dirty, I might wipe my face or get my hair out of my face. And all of that attributes to bacteria and it kind of just sits there after class if I don't get a shower right away you don't want to sit in your sweat on your car ride home and or even eating dinner and then getting a shower these are great to throw in your gym bag because that will help remove any of that bacteria if your skin feels a little tight after that I recommend a hydrating toner don't use wipes every single day I don't think they're the greatest for your skin but it's better than not washing your face at the same time and it's also better than going and working out with a full face of makeup on. An oldie and a goodie is this Trader Joe's Lavender Salt Scrub. I forgot how much I love this product. It is such a refined salt. It's not chunky whatsoever. It doesn't feel abrasive on the skin. It almost feels like a sugar scrub, but it's salt. Um, I don't recommend using this right after shaving. I recommend using this before your shaving or in between your shave days. Very exfoliating, but also very nourishing and hydrating because it is in oil. You will have that little oily residue afterwards if you don't like that this is not the product for you I personally like that because then I don't feel like I have to use as much moisturizer before going to bed and when I'm being really lazy and I'm tired I just use this because I get my exfoliation and my hydration right out of the shower I also love this because it's a pop top versus a screw top and the pop top is so much easier when your hands are wet when your hands are oily from using the scrub um, it just makes things a lot easier this is the lemongrass coconut body oil with almond and jojoba oil loved using it right out of the shower where your skin still kind of damp and you just pump it out and rub it all over your body it smells really refreshing it's a lovely scent for summertime and hot weather it really just keeps your skin hydrated and looking nice and smooth I also like using this if you're going out and you're wearing shorts and a skirt or something like that and you want a little bit more sheen on your legs not as nourishing as some of the body oils I've tried in the past but perfectly great if you're on a budget. This is a new product too and I just loved this. It's the Rose Water Facial Toner. It's hydrating and refreshing. It's super, super great mister. mister. There's no weird water droplets, which is really great considering the price point. Sometimes you sacrifice the quality of the sprayer 
for the price point and this I don't feel like you're sacrificing anything great affordable rose water available at Trader Joe's I love using this to refresh my makeup to set my makeup to get rid of that powdery look I love using this to spray all over my body to cool down when I'm really hot because it is affordable I don't feel as guilty doing that I love using it as a toner before going in with the rest of my skincare routine this is one of the like hero products from the week this is like an okay product for me this is the facial cleansing oil with argan and coconut oil it did remove my face makeup it didn't remove my mascara or my eyeliner very well i still had to go back in after my shower to remove it using a q-tip and some other cleanser or water that being said if you don't wear a lot of eye makeup or your mascara comes off really easily or maybe you wear a tubing mascara this would work i just didn't like that it still left makeup on my face and I did double cleanse as well. So I had used this first to break down my makeup on dry skin and I had went in with the all-in-one facial cleanser and my makeup was still kind of on my face. Depends on your preference, depends on how much you rub your eyes. I try not to rub my eyes too much when using oils to break down my products. It felt nice, it smells nice, it's a good price point. Just felt like there were better more effective products out there that could be more time-saving because I would not have to do another step I really enjoyed this next product which is the blueberry and acai facial scrub this reminds me of a fruit facial scrub essentially because you're using some sort of fruit seeds in there it smells amazing it smells like blueberries and acai it smells like you could eat this product and it was also very nourishing it gently exfoliates your skin it's not anything that's going to be too abrasive or harsh unfortunately if you are looking for something that's very very exfoliating this is not the product for you this is more of like that light in between exfoliation day I liked using it in the mornings when I felt my skin was being a little bit difficult so I love the packaging because it is that frosted glass it's reusable and I think it's really luxurious for what they're charging. The moisturizer I picked up is their Nourish Oil Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. This is a really lovely lightweight moisturizer that comes in a pump. You get a ton of product. I just felt like it wasn't hydrating enough for me. If you're an oily skin all over your face, I think you'll love this because it is so lightweight. Definitely if you're in your teens or early 20s and you're on the oilier side, check this out. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. I love that it's fragrance free, paraben free. Um, I think it'll work really lovely underneath your makeup, underneath your sunblock. Your facial oils. This is the Rose Facial Oil, which I really, I don't know. I just don't know because I feel like facial oils need to be a little bit more potent and the rose facial oil is a little misleading because it's rose hip seed oil which i absolutely love but it really should say rose hip seed oil and it's not any of the first few ingredients it's very much on the lower spectrum of the ingredients list it's very hydrating and it's great to use over your oil free moisturizer if you needed an extra boost of hydration but in terms of anything that rose or rose hip seed oil would typically do for your skin, I just don't think you're getting any of those properties or ingredients or effects. So if you're hoping for that anti-aging benefit, that radiance benefit from your facial oil, I would stick with a more expensive one or just going and getting the Trilogy Rose Hip Seed Oil, which for how potent that rose hip seed oil is, it's quite affordable. It's in the $30 range, which can be a little expensive for some of you guys, but a little goes a long way because it's actual rose hip seed oil. It's not cut with anything unless you get the serum version. So that's my recommendation if you're looking for something that's brightening, more antioxidant, and better for your skin. This was something I was surprised that they carried at Trader Joe's. This is their Nourish Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. Felt nice, but I didn't really feel like there was that much happening for my skin. Hyaluronic acids I typically use either from SkinCeuticals or PCA Skin are definitely a little bit more hydrating, more potent, less um, sticky. This one wasn't super sticky. I felt way stickier once, but this one felt like it was just kind of sliding all over my face and it wasn't absorbing into my skin. Now, if you're in your teens and you're younger, you don't really need a lot of these things. I always recommend for my younger demographic, if you are not struggling with any major skin issues, to really focus on getting a good double cleanse. That means removing your makeup, sunblock, dirt from the day, and I mean tinted moisturizers too. You've got to remove that stuff, break it down with a good cleansing balm, good moisturizing uh, remover, and then do a gentle cleanse. 
not super foaming, not super lathery because that can tend to strip your skin. And then go in with a toner and a moisturizer. Eye cream I also recommend and of course if you're younger you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. Just make sure you're protecting that area under your eyes. And during the day I would add an antioxidant serum and a SPF 30 or higher. So that's my recommendation for everybody, especially if you don't have any skin issues. If you do have skin issues, that's where I recommend people start. Stop with all the treatments, stop with all the masks. A lot of things are have hidden fragrances that can be irritating. A lot of ingredients can be irritating in your skin, and that's why you might be breaking out or having redness or any issues. So stop everything, go down to the basics, and slowly add things in a couple times a week if that's what you want to do. And of course, if you have rosacea or severe acne, I recommend recommend going and seeing at least an esthetician or a dermatologist in your area to get some help. I don't think this is necessary for this where this is targeted towards because I don't think it's effective enough. Well, this next product Again, I don't know that it's that effective and I definitely recommend splurging on your vitamin C or your antioxidant, your rosehip seed oil, and then going with a moisturizer and SPF. This is their Nourish antioxidant facial serum for all skin types. But what I do recommend this for is a makeup primer because there's so much dimethicone and silicone in this that it provides essentially what a lot of popular primers at Sephora and Ulta or even the drugstore provides. It smooths out your pores, it smooths out your skin. If you have any issues whatsoever, this is literally going to silicone all of that so that you can go in with your makeup. People ask me what I think about primers for filling in your pores. That's what primers do. So if you have enlarged pores, which I do, using a primer to minimize your pores or the appearance of your pores usually means it's filling in your pores. Now if your pores are big and you're filling it in so that when you put makeup on it looks smooth and clear and like you don't have any pores, it's because you filled in those holes. That over time enlarges your pores even more. So if pore size is a huge issue for you, if you're not getting extractions and cleaning out your pores frequently, it's not something I recommend because while it may look nice, it overall is going to enlarge your pores that you're already worried about. You are going on a special date, a special event, it's your wedding, you're getting photos taken, of course fill in those pores because you want to look your best. For every single day, I don't recommend filling in your pores with a silicone based primer because that's just causing problems later down the line. You're literally just shellacking your face. Fortunately, pore size is genetic. I just learned about that. The best thing you can do about that is to keep your pores clean. Fully frequently, get your facials frequently to get the extractions. Extractions for me is so important because I need to get those blackheads out of my pores. The longer those blackheads stay in, the bigger my pores eventually get stretched out to. I can't really shrink the pores, but I can do my best to keep the health of my pores as healthy as possible. And as I age, pore size does enlarge, and so the best thing you can do is make sure you've, you're using antioxidants, elasticity, sunblock. You wanna prevent your skin from becoming saggy because that makes your pores look even bigger. So those are all of my thoughts on all the products after testing out the Trader Joe's Beauty Haul for a little over a week. I tested out for about nine days now. I thought it was really fun. I actually started filming this before Refinery29 posted their video. It's kind of cool to see that um, they posted it too. So if you want to check out another person's opinion on Trader Joe's Beauty, definitely check out that video over on Refinery29. Not associated whatsoever. I just thought it was kind of cool that we were on the same page. If there's a place you'd like me to test out beauty or a brand you'd like to, me to test out for an entire week, let me know. This is basically like a newer version of Makeup Bag Mondays where I used to test out products for an entire week and check back with you guys based on how I felt after using it. The products were actually great finds and really affordable and a great way to get your grocery shopping done and pick up some products if you run out. And some of it I think you can just, you know, it's better to spend a little bit more money and get a better quality product. Thank you so much for watching my video till the end. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you're notified whenever I have a new upload. For the month of July, I'm uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So that's three videos a week here on this channel and there might be a couple bonus uploads 
throughout the month as well. And then for August, there will be a new upload schedule. So while you're watching in July, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, plus bonus uploads, I also have a blog and social medias. Everything is always listed in the description box as well as I'm going to try and be better about listing what's on my face and anything I might be wearing that you might be interested in. On top of that, don't forget I do a new and beauty every month with a giant giveaway for my newsletter subscribers over on my blog. Make sure you check out that blog post. There's still time to enter for June and of course weekly giveaways over on my Instagram and Instagram stories. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys right back here in my next video. Bye!